Burnt Toast by me, Schubert. A dark expanse of faded white lines and dusty concrete blocks was all that stood between me and breakfast. The field of blister-inducing asphalt stretched on beyond what seemed physically possible and made me quickly regret my choice of footwear. But finally, I arrived at the entrance to my paradise. Stepping inside, I was careful not to let the loose thread of my left pant leg get caught in the automated revolving door. I keep meaning to cut that loose thread. The diner had definitely looked like a Nettie's from the parking lot, but inside, instead of roasted coffee or sizzling bacon, the smell of disinfectant filled the air. I flung myself toward the nearest booth, diving headfirst onto the curved, glossy red seat for what I assumed would be a soft landing, and discovered too late that the cushion was made from some kind of hard plastic. I laid there for a little while, grumbling quietly, as I felt a fresh wave of pain wash over me, and looked up at the fluorescent lights, which shone through yellowed plastic panels, flickering and buzzing obnoxiously overhead. Eventually, a bored-looking employee must have seen me writhing around, and sauntered over to my table holding a notepad. I sat up a little too fast, and the lights started spinning. Meanwhile, the server was pointing at some black disc on the table and saying something about chips. I was so hungry that I was having trouble paying attention. As soon as they stopped talking, I ordered a fried egg. You want toast with that? Asked the server, not looking up from their pad. Yes, please. Slightly burnt, I answered. The server stood there for a second and winced, then looked up sharply, tilting their head and narrowing their wide eyes. Burnt? they exclaimed, loud enough for the whole restaurant to hear. Yeah, just, like, a little bit? I said without really thinking, keeping a close eye on their face. They stared back as if I'd said something deeply offensive. The whole diner went utterly silent, except for the faint buzzing of the lights above. I glanced around to see if anybody else had noticed, but the place was practically deserted. Had it been that empty when I had come in? I couldn't remember. I was getting used to making faux pas. I just wasn't expecting so much resistance at Nettie's. After an uncomfortably long silence, the server responded. I'm sorry, sir. Our toasters don't allow us to burn the bread. They automatically shut off once each slice has reached its ideal level of toastiness. I couldn't make you burnt toast, even if I wanted to, 